So let's take a look at the combustion of rubbing alcohol in air. So first off, rubbing alcohol, that's isopropyl alcohol, C3H8O, that would be the chemical formula. And when we combust it, or when we burn rubbing alcohol in air, air is made up of nitrogen gas N2, oxygen gas O2, and a few other trace gases. It's the O2, the oxygen gas, that's gonna react with the rubbing alcohol or the isopropyl alcohol. And since it's combustion, we'll get carbon dioxide and water. So let's count the atoms up and we'll balance the equation. So when you count the atoms up on the product side, be careful because we have one oxygen here and two here. One plus two gives us three. And then on the product side, we have two here and one here. Two plus one, that gives us three again. So make sure you count the oxygen atoms up correctly. Let's start balancing the carbons. We could put a three here, one times three. That would give us three carbon atoms. We would need to update the oxygens because this three, it goes to everything here. So three times two is six plus this one oxygen out here. Now we have seven. Let's fix the hydrogens. We could put a coefficient of four in front of the H2O, two times four. That would give us eight and we've balanced the hydrogens, but we do need to update the oxygens again. So we have three times two, that's six, plus four times the one, that's four. Now we have 10 oxygen atoms. So now it's a little bit difficult. You might think, well, I'll put a five here, five times two, that's 10. But you gotta remember we have one oxygen here, so that's not gonna work. So think of it this way. We have the one oxygen right here, plus some number, that's gonna equal 10. That needs to equal 10 to balance the equation. One plus nine, that equals 10. So what we can do is we can say nine over two, because nine over two times two, those twos will cancel out. We'll have our nine and the equation, it'll be balanced. So our coefficient here is nine over two, and we're done. This equation is balanced. These are the correct coefficients, and really that's what we want when we're balancing equations. Some teachers, they don't like having this fractional coefficient here. What you can do is you can multiply everything by two, and we'll still have the same ratio, but we'll get rid of the fraction. So we multiply two times each coefficient here, we get, and this is the same ratio, we just have whole numbers. So this is the equation for the combustion of rubbing alcohol, also called isopropyl alcohol in air. This is Dr. B, thanks for watching.